My name is Katarazaka Eiji, a freshman at high school. I don't want to consider myself a nerd, but compared to class clowns, I can't deny it. Sorry to bother you, Shizuka-san. Would you let me see your English assignment? Sure. It was hard this time around. Thank you. It means a lot. I'll give it back to you right after I finish it. Fuka Shizuka-san, a total babe who is smart and popular. For example, a nerd is someone who could never hope to mingle with this type of person. Right, that's me. I don't want to think it's true. I didn't expect her to let her guard down. Huh? Ah! Did I just get caught? Since it's the day the new manga comes out, I drop by a bookstore on my way back from school. I'm home. Huh? We got a visitor. Is it mom's friend? I'll just stay in my room because it's such a drag to meet a new person. Whew! <sighs> Shizuka-san! What in the world is she doing in my bed? Huh? <gasps> huh. Wow. Eiji-kun. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'll leave right away. I'm sorry. I dozed off in your room. Oh, yeah, right. It's my room. Uh, why are you here? Your mom told me to read comic books or something in here. Ah, uh, it's my mom. But why in the first place? Um, you haven't heard yet? Heard what? My parents are gone on business. Until they get back, my mom's friend takes care of me. I didn't sleep well last night because I was so nervous. Uh, is my mom the friend? Yes, it's your mom. <laughs> so that means you're gonna be... Staying here for two months. Uh, uh... Since that day, I started living together with someone I could never hope to be with if I don't make a move. Even so, I leave it up to my parents to talk to her. A few days later, it's the first day off since she came here. Eiji-kun, can I come in? Shizuka-san? Oh, damn. Uh, do I look on point? All right. Yeah. I just wanted to ask what you want to eat for dinner. Your parents told me to eat out because they're late tonight and left some money on the table. Oh, yeah, they said something about working on a day off. Since we get a chance, want to go out from now? Uh, fine by me, but now? Yeah, I want to go to a cafe. Is that okay? Cafe? <laughs> All right, I'll get ready. Thanks. I came out without thinking much. It feels like we're on a date. Uh, I gotta get over myself because I'm a nerd. I'm just hanging out with a roomie. I can't go to a cafe myself because I get nervous. I feel ya. I can't do that either. Wow. You can drink black coffee? Hmm. Huh. I kinda get used to it after drinking it every day. I can't take it without milk and sugar. Unexpectedly, you are not out of touch with normal people. Um, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, well, I, uh, I thought you're out of my league. We're now under the same roof, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's embarrassing to say myself. Let's dig in. Sorry for the wait. Yeah. It was great. It was a lot. I wonder if I can eat dinner. Let's eat a little later. We'll be hungry again after walking. Then, can I browse some clothes? Clothes? Uh, since I don't have good taste in clothes, I can't give you legit advice or anything. Is that okay? Sure. I'm really glad you're with me. I don't really know how to deal with talkative clerks while shopping. I feel you. Huh? Oh. I usually go shopping alone because I don't have friends. Huh? You don't have friends. You know I'm not kidding. Everyone talks to you every day. I don't really have a friend I can hang out with on weekends. I don't want to be turned down when I ask. Yeah. 
I can't ask anyone to hang out because I'm scared of being turned down. You too. I've been thinking I have to do something about it. I hope we can change one day. It was good to know your unexpected side. Ah, uh, all right, let's get back to shopping. You found anything you like. What do you think? Does it suit me? It does. Great. But I think it's cute, too. Oh, sorry, I'm wishy-washy. It's okay, I got time. Oh. I think he's kind of cool. Thank you. What do you want for dinner? Uh, are you hungry? Not really. Let's grab something on our way home? I want to buy a bento at the food section in a department store basement. Oh, it might take some time from here. I always think they look great, but I don't really get a chance to eat them. All right, let's grab bento there. Yes. Do you like watching movies? Yeah. You? Oh, yeah, I like them too. I read manga or watch movies whenever I have some time on my hands because it's unlimited streaming. Oh, is it? Do you want to watch something? Sure. What's your favorite genre? Um, horror? <laughs> really? Yeah. I can't watch it alone, though, because I'm scared. Really? Interesting. I didn't see that coming. Huh. I didn't see that coming either. You want to watch a horror movie? While eating? Oh, afterwards then. Yeah. Since this day, we got much closer. We still don't really talk at school, though. I think we talk like more than just friends at home. A few days later. What? You're going home? Yeah, my parents will come back because they got done work sooner than expected. When will they come back? Next week. Oh, next week? So you leave next week? It's not a big deal. It's not like I'm changing schools. Uh, yeah, but... Thank you for taking care of me. Yeah. A week later, our under-the-same-roof life comes to an end out of nowhere. Shizuka-san, sorry to bother you. Would you let me see your math assignment? Sure. Math is hard. Yeah, it is. Thanks. I'll give it back to you ASAP. We were so close back then, but we don't really talk anymore. I might as well ask her to let me see her assignment too. Ha! Ah! ah! Oh, she sure cares about what others think of her. In the end, I'm still just a nerd. Huh? Shizuka-san, what's up? Um, do you want to hang out this Saturday? What? Yeah, sure. For real? Can I ask your number? Oh, you don't have it yet? Okay. Right, you always let me see your assignment. Let me treat you. Uh, you don't have to. No, no, I just want to thank you. It's a stretch to say I'm your friend when I'm just receiving. Friend? Huh? We're friends, aren't we? E yeah. Can I call you Miran-chan? What is that? You're funny. You can call me whatever you want to. Yeah. Thank you. Shizuka-san just made a friend. She's really trying to come out of her shell. We haven't talked since then. I can reach out to her if I want to, but I don't know what to say. Then, I came to realize, after not talking with her for a while, that I have a crush on her. She came out of her shell. Now it's my turn. I'm going to ask her out on a date next week, and then... Uh, anyway, all I have to do is ask her out. Uh, send! The cafe we went to together. This is the perfect place to tell her how I feel. Uh, hey, um, do you have a sec? I have something to tell you. Sure, what happened? See, we got really close after living together. Right! Those were the days... But we haven't really talked anymore since you left. Uh, I, I was kind of nervous. It's been kind of hard for me not to talk with you. I, 
always think I want to talk with you more. So do I. Then I realized <laughs> I like you. If you're okay with that, I want you to be my girlfriend. What? If you don't mind, I'd love to. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Shizuka-san. After that, we went on our first date and had a great time until the evening. It's been a few days since we started dating. There's not much difference even after we started dating. I dropped by a bookstore on my way home again. I'm home. What? Shizuka-san? Those aren't her shoes, right? Uh, hold on. Why are you here? <laughs> oh, you're just pretending to sleep. Sorry, I was just reminiscing. My parents are out on business again. Does that mean... Yes, I'll be staying here again. As a girlfriend this time around. As a girlfriend? I'll be taking care of you as a boyfriend. Our under the same roof life resumed out of nowhere. But this time, we're not a total babe and a nerd in class, but boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs>